All right, this is phase three of the light side geo territory battles. Um, I was able to get a full clear with this one here. Um, everything except for the ship special mission, I did not attempt it. I wanted to go and make sure I got the points for the guild um, this time around. So first up, we're going to do the cam mission. I'm showing the mods that I have. Yeah, I had to switch the mods around. That's normal for cam. You know, I don't like to switch mods very often. I also do it in one or two other fights here. Um, I've been getting, you know, consistent with cam. Big part of it is obviously gearing up, relicking up your characters. That makes a big difference, as you can imagine. So, you're looking for speed, you know, firepower on, the, on, the, on Echo and Trooper, you know, health on some of them, fives, you just want him all beefed up as much as you can. Uh, he's, his whole purpose is to sacrifice. You never want to taunt with him or anything like that. You need him to sacrifice. Now, mine's Relic 8. Uh, just because I use because of his ship and also because I use him as a GL counter. So I wanted him more beefy. But that's you don't need him relegate for this, obviously. But if he's that's if he looked uh, a little beefy, that's why. Um so st starting off, you gotta get rid of the B twos. Now, remember that Django is invulnerable until you get those uh, stacks up that you need to have on your characters above him. So, again, we're getting down to B1s. You don't want to do too many small basic hits or you know, too many small hits on the boss mob with characters that don't hit very hard. Really, you want, if you can get it down to a perfect world, you want... Um, Echo, an Arc Trooper, the ones that are primarily hitting it because they do the most damage. Um, the problem with mine is that my fives, they keep targeting my fives. Um, you know, the earlier they can get a sacrifice off, the faster this whole thing goes. But unfortunately, I was not getting that kind of luck this time. But again, my fives is pretty beefy, so that works in my favor because he hangs in there for quite a while. You'll see he takes a beating in this. They just would not leave him alone. So again, you know... Um, you can even take in Shock T, Rex. Like right there, Rex, I probably should have targeted Django. They do so little damage to him, it's probably better to just do that little damage at Echo. Um, I find, you know, it might have went a little smoother. If I would have done that, maybe. Um... Really, when it comes down to it, this, this whole thing is about your relic level and mods more than anything. Because once I got to that point, I stopped having problems. You know, you can't just like hit auto and just ignore the basic um, how this thing runs. But as you're lower in relic levels and mods, it gets harder and harder. Not impossible. I mean, if everybody's gear 12, then yeah, I don't... I don't know if that's going to be something you want to try. But um, like I said, as you get relicked up, the higher they go, the better they're going to be. Um, again, we're getting close on Django. Right there. Yeah, 
basic on Django. Again, we don't want to waste it. Fives is getting pretty low. I think I cure that before too long, if I remember right. The trample on him. I don't want him to die. I want him to sacrifice. Here we go. Yep. And remember, you don't want him to taunt. Look at that. I cannot get that thing to leave him alone. All right. He dropped the first time. Put a heal on fives. We can nuke him out now. It gets more simple. You, you know, again, if you, you know, some, I've had it where I complete it with all my characters. I don't lose anybody. And then uh, there's other times you get done and you've got just a couple left, two or three left. So um, it all depends. But, uh, this is running pretty smooth. I do lose somebody here. I do get a sacrifice. You'll see it's coming here before too long. Again, all my guys are kind of beefy. I think it might go a little faster when you get, you know, if you try to have your guys a little weaker, then they sacrifice. It's whatever you're comfortable with. There is no, you know, there isn't like a, you have to have it this way, you know, uh, necessarily. There's things you want to avoid. You know, you don't want them to be too squishy. You don't want them to be too slow. You know, um, unfortunately, the hard part is this fight is every month. So it's not like you can just turn around and do it again tomorrow, you know, and work it out. So best thing to do is try to remember. Put a cure on him. Coming along, he's certainly trying to kill some people off. Almost there. Oh, look, lost another one. And there we go. Going on now to the ships. Again, I just did the one battle. It's funny, this one actually goes a little bit rocky too. I've sped this part up. The rest of the whole thing I've sped up some. Uh, not too much, but it gets long. Really long. So uh, I'm trying to shorten it up so that it's not you know too long of a video for you guys. And I will have in the description the uh, time code so that you guys can go straight to the fights you want. They are just really trying to kill off fives there. There we go. Let's get some of that. Now I'm going, I'm staying on Bosk for a reason. I'm biding my time until I can switch to offensive mode. The other thing too is if you go after um, the Slave 1, he's just going to counterattack on you and that's no good. Especially when they're hitting as hard as they're hitting. So biding my time. Trying to get it out. I'm in offensive mode now. Remember, and this is something a lot of people forget. You can switch between offensive and defensive mode to heal up. You'll see me do that here in a little bit. I will switch back to defensive mode and get some health up. Even though I probably didn't need it at this point. But look, switch it up, health up. So definitely want to use that when you can. There's been times that's really saved me. Just try to be in the habit of doing that. Getting close now, almost there.
debating what to do next. Again, I've just sped all this up. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, I end up doing that one there. I get my two Jedi teams out of the way. I wanted to save Yoda for my other Jedi team. Sorry, I'm contemplating what I want to do here. Going in now. I'll tell you, using um, Kenobi is very easy. It's the easiest team yet. There's never a point where you're sweating in this. And this is, we're in the third phase. He just blows right through it. It's great. Keeping it up. Remember, you want to get Sniper Droid out. Even B2 doesn't bother you much in this. You just don't want Droid to or Sniper Droid doing anything crazy. Otherwise, it's you just go right through this. And then here, I like to get rid of Watt. Don't want to deal with him, with um, him rezzing and things like that, and getting too many buffs out. Uh, when you're using um, Mon Mothma, which is going to be later, I use her, and Watt is one of, and Watt's there. If you do not kill off Watt before he puts a tank tack on a tank, uh, you're screwed. Because you cannot do enough damage with Mon Mothma to, um, to counter how much that the tank tech is healing. It just, you just never end up taking the guy out. You can't clear the buff. You can't anything. You're just stuck on, on him. So you have to, um, put everything you have pretty much ignore just about everything else and get Watt out when you're using Mon Mothma. So please remember that if you're gearing up Mon Mothma to, to do this. Now we're going to do the next Jedi. Again, I like using the Luke lead. Basically, we're just going to go with this team. Joe Lee's there mainly for Yoda and Revan. Those two are a bit squishy, and, uh, and they, tend to, uh, they tend to get uh, one-shotted sometimes. So... I'm double checking because after doing the reek, I uh, I um, wanted to make sure I put my mods back. All right, I like getting rid of the B ones, especially if there's more than one of them. One of them you can handle pretty good, but when you can start getting two, they start doing a crazy amount of damage. I'm switching that to Luke, believe it or not. I got to get that around so that he can stun again. But I'm killing things too fast. Can't get to the spy.
There we go. I should have focused the spy down right there. Yeah, you can't get to Jedi Master Luke's ultimate. He has to be leader or you're never going to get it in these fights. And the problem is they focus him and they do enough damage where they can take him out. So there we go. We got that off. We got two B1, so I focus one down. I want to get him out of here. Especially that I have everything stunned. Now I'm going to work on the sniper. I go back over to the B1 here and work him down. And I'm killing again too fast. I got three turns to go, but I, I, I mess around with it. I get it there. Yep. I was worried I might do it in one shot. So do that. got two turns before it so what ends up happening I don't even think I stunned them I just just go and work them down if I remember correctly Yeah, the soldier's a little more squishy. I should have been going after him instead. I probably would have taken him out. The soldier is also the big part of the turn meter train. So I don't know why I was going after Brood. I thought maybe I'd do enough damage, but no. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting there. All right, here comes Mr. Happy. Watch what happens here. Look at that. <laughs> Thank God I got a reser. And keep in mind, you can go to the next phase and then res. You do not have to be in that phase. So don't panic if they kill you at the end of the phase like that. Just go to the next phase and then res them up. The only time that won't happen is if there's some kind of res block or something going on. There we go. He's back up. Let's see if we can't keep him alive this time. We're in the fourth stage, so it's we're going for broke. I don't know why I went after him. He, I think, I think he um, despawns when you kill the last mob, anyway. So. Didn't really matter at this point. All right. Got that one. Let's move on to the next. I was debating which team to use. If it made a difference, I couldn't think of anything, so I went in. Now those things um, fade out, so now you can um, see what you've used and not used, which is great. So glad they fixed that. They darken out the ones that have been used. All right, so I'm switching some mods here. I want to try to get the win, so I'm beefing them up. And I'm just doing real simply. I'm just going to go to another character, grab all that character's mobs, move it over, and then go from there. hitting the wrong thing debating what to do with him 
I probably could have left him, but I went and grabbed Vader's. He's got good potency. It's not as good, but good. He does more damage, has more speed. So I ended up going with that. And then C3PO, I just put somebody on fast. But I'll tell you the truth, it would have been smoother if he would have had more um, potency. So that was an issue with that. But we still ended up being just fine, as you will see. But uh, having more potency with him helps him land his, uh, his things. Now remember with CLS, the B2s basically kill themselves, so you don't even really ever have to target them. Unless it gets down to like where he's just got one left and you just want to take him out. There we go. Get the B1 next. And now this guy. Moving on to the next. We got three or two B1s. So you want to take out one of them right away. Because again, they just stack on you. And uh, that causes problems killing really fast here with those mods on. Moving on to the next. Got a sniper and a droidica. Stunned the droidica. We'll take him out here in a second. All right. Let's get rid of him. Now this time I play it right and I just go after Ventress because once she's gone, they're gone. Alrighty, get the B1 next. Count Duke can be kind of a pain. And he starts countering all the time and stuff. All right, let's get Newt here. All right, almost there. All right, there we go. There's that one. Now we're going to use Mon Mothma. Again, I speed a couple of them up. I'll show you what I'm using here. All right. Now I switched this mod because with Re uh, Hoth Rebel Scout, you want good critical chance. You want to hit. Uh, and, and get your critical chance up because with his special uh, if he gets a critical hit he goes he takes an immediate turn which obviously feeds turn meter to the team so you want them all going as much as possible so getting that extra turn is great so there we go gonna go with that you don't want to sacrifice too much speed for that but it is worth having Jedi Master Kenobi stuff. Those two are the turn meter generator for the team. That's looking good. I think that was Vader's stuff. And... I went to switch her, but I ended, I don't think I did because she loses a lot of buffs that she can use for the team. Let me see, did I, did I leave it or did I take it off? I thought, I think I went back to her. 
Yeah, I reverted it back. I didn't want to lose all the buffs. Her speed isn't that important. You don't want her slow, slow, but... Let's see. Yeah. I just leave her as is. And Cara Dune's already fine. I don't need to change hers up. All right. So here we go. Look at that. Even with the speed and everything, they almost took him out. Which is okay. If you lose one, you're fine. You just res them up when Mon Mothma comes around. Actually, you usually want to res her up on the second time she comes around. You want to pull out the um, um, the trooper first, usually. It depends. If there's a tank there, you want to pull out the trooper so that he can wipe the, uh, the taunt. If there's no tank, uh, then you want to get out, uh, bring back whoever you lost. If you lose two people, it starts getting really difficult. And if you lose three, obviously, you, you're pretty much done when that happens. Try not to use her res ability. Even though the health is down, they'll gain it up. Because if for any reason you lose somebody, you're going to want to get them right back. And it's a long time before that ability is back around again. So I pretty much only use it uh, when I lose somebody. Otherwise, I just leave it alone. Mon Mothma is a longer fight, as you can see. Now that this first phase is over, this is the hardest phase, getting into it. Now you will see everything goes more smoothly, and B2s need to go first above everybody else. Work on your sniper. If you can stun him, that's great. And then you can go work on B1. If you've got two B1s, you've got to take one of them out. But again, I, I like to focus down B2 first. Um, it, he, he gets out of hand really fast. Whenever I've lost, um, I shouldn't say whenever. Usually when I lost, lose, it's because I didn't get on him. Either I was getting taunted by Magna Guard and he kept counterattacking and I couldn't get rid of the taunt. Or something to that effect. Here we go. Buff him up a little bit. Trying to use more basics. Keeping it coming. Almost there. There we go. Again, B2, then now B1. Can't get to the uh, uh, the, the the spy, but it's not going to be a big deal. I don't even think he takes a turn. Once you get that turn meter train going. Uh, it works pretty nice. There's really not much they can do. Come on, get there. You can do it. All right, this one's got Watt. Have to get him down. There's a Droidica there and stuff, but you have to get that Watt down. He puts tank tech. He uh, he puts tank tech on Magna Guard. You're done. So you have to get him down. Now I I did take a second to go over to. Um, Droidica and get that uh, invulnerability off of him. I do need to bounce back and forth a little bit. He's trying really hard to get him down. There we go. He's out. Now I can go to Droidica. All right. We slowed this down to normal speed. 
because we're coming to the end. Now that he's out, we can finish this up. It's going to go pretty easy now. We got one more true damage dealer here. Once he's gone, um, it's smooth sailing. Pretty much go auto at this point. This time I'm ignoring those two because they'll just despawn on their own. I'm getting the last two we need to get rid of. Well, hopefully this video helps you a little bit if you're struggling with some of these. looking at the mods and whatever. Um, I will have a link to my profile. You can take a look. Uh, I also stream on Twitch for GACs on the night of the GACs at 10 p.m. Um, if you want, come and hang out. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Like if you like. All right. Bye.